I'm your host, Sean McKenzie, and thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data analytics and data engineering. This week, we're going to delve deeper into our Python Pandas installation, and we're going to reuse some data that we created last time in a Microsoft Access database in order to explore the query and sort methods of the Pandas data frame. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and open my idle shell here and I'm going to grab a Python file that uh, we worked on a couple of weeks ago uh, which, which was all about how to uh, get data from Microsoft Access using Python. And not only that, we used the pandas library to put that data into a pandas data frame. So you can see I've got my import statements at the top here and uh, I had some user feedback for the console uh, saying that we're opening the database and we're going to, you know, connect to it um, and give some more feedback. And then we had a SQL statement, which was to select star from project data. And then we used uh, the PD uh, Panda uh, read SQL method and we got our data frame out of that. And so what we're going to do today uh, is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to continue on to do some querying and sorting. And so just to show what we saw last week, um, we ran our query against the Access database and we simply output the, the rows from our table uh, in our data frame. We output that using the print command. And so you can see this is some project data and it is either of a type status, suggestion, or uh, action. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to uh, use the query and sort methods to, to you know, filter our data. We're not going to use the filter method. Um, that method is more toward using filters on the row headers. Uh, we want to use the query method and the, and the uh, sort method. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make a a query variable and we'll set that equal to our data frame which is called data and we're going to use the query method so we'll say data.query and we'll uh, use our column name info type and in this case we want to get all the suggestion rows from our data frame so we'll say info type is equal to suggestion as our uh, query string and then we'll put a print command after that um, I think change the name to query one because we're going to do a few queries here so we'll say query one is equal to uh, data.query where info type is equal to suggestion and then we'll use the print command to print out our output query one and then I'll go ahead and hit my F5 key and we'll go back to our Python shell as it's running here. We have to save the file and then uh, as you can see it opens the database, it selects, closes the connection and then you can see that we have our two suggestion rows just as we wanted from our uh, query. So what I'll do is I'm going to comment out our print uh, of our query one here just for uh, convenience and then we'll make a new query we'll call it query2 and for this one uh, we're going to use AND in order to query for two conditions just so that you know how to do that so what we'll do here is we'll say uh, query where the info type is equal to um, action and we're going to assume that we only want um, data ID uh, greater than a certain number. It could be a date or whatever. Uh, note that you can use the ampersand as well as the and as I've uh, done just there. But coming from the SQL world I like to use my and in my statements and we'll put uh, data ID is greater than 12 um, just so that we filter some range uh, to demonstrate um, two conditions and then we'll say print query 2 and from there we can go uh, uh, run that one just like we did before 
and that'll come up in the idle shell and you can see that here we have our three action rows and you'll note that the action rows that were a data ID less than 12 uh, were uh, less than or equal to 12 were uh, excluded and as you can see our action rows are matching to the the first output that had no query on it um, so next what we'll do is uh, I'll comment that out as well and uh, we'll use uh, or in our statement this time so that we can test for one condition or the other and so what we'll do is we'll say where info type uh, is equal to um, suggestion or uh, status uh, or uh, info type is equal to uh, suggestion and uh, note that we can use the the vertical bar for or or we can use uh, the word or and I like to use the word or um, just because of my SQL background and uh, we'll say info type is equal to uh, suggestion so that'll say uh, info type is equal to status or info type is equal to suggestion and we'll um, close that off and try another print statement so we can see what we get and I'll uh, close that print statement off and then uh, I'll go back up and I'll just change this uh, uh, vertical bar I'll use or uh, just since we're using words today uh, or info type is equal to suggestion and then I'll hit F5 and we'll see what we get again the idle shell will come up and it'll ask me to save that before it runs it and then our output is down below you can see that we've opened our database uh, we're selecting clo and closing it and then the data is in the data frame already so we've got the results that we want there. Um, so I'll comment that one out as well and we'll do another example. So our next example we're going to uh, do a sort and we'll go back to our our full table and uh, that's the data um, data frame and we'll sort underscore values and then we'll say by and we'll say data ID and we'll add the argument for ascending and we'll say uh, false so that it's in descending order and I'll close that off and then we'll print query 4 as well so I'll just put in my print statement for query 4 and then I'll I'll uh, hit F5 in order to execute and we should see the idle shell come up again and uh, in this case I I need to save again so I'll, I'll save that and it goes and then you can see uh, our data ID is in descending order in our data frame and that is exactly what we wanted to see and for uh, query 5 I guess what I'll do is uh, I mean we often want to sort by more than one column so we'll do that in our next example and we'll do do the same uh, command so we'll go data.sort values and then we'll say by but in this case uh, we're going to specify more than one uh, column for sorting we can do that by using our square brackets and putting more than one entry in there so in this case we'll say by uh, info type we'll sort by that first and then after info type we'll sort by the data ID just so that's uh, in ascending order and I'll close that off and we can print query 5 to see the the output uh, for our, our sort condition with two two sorts okay and I'll hit F5 on that one and I'll get prompted here to save before it runs it and then you'll see our list come up with our info type sorted first uh, action then status then suggestion and inside of that our data IDs are sorted in ascending order and that is how you query and sort a Python pandas data frame I hope you enjoyed today's lesson about the query and sort methods of the uh, pandas data frame and I hope that you can use it in your project so that you can get better results if you like what you saw today 
please subscribe to my channel and click the bell when you see the bell so that you'll be notified of any new content that I put on the channel. Also give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comment section below. I hope you had fun today, I did, and I'll catch you next time.